cheating on my dad while she was pregnant. So I know I've made a lot of content on Jolly Wally, questioning some of his takes on dating relationships and women, but I've learned more about his upbringing. It doesn't justify his actions, but it certainly explains it. Some of my first thoughts are screaming and infidelity and violence, divorce, and then divorce court. Go see a child psychologist to see who I'm going to end up living with. My mother spent seven of the nine months pregnant with me on a couch at her friend's house because she was cheating on my dad while she was pregnant. Seven of nine months on her girlfriend's couch because my dad kicked her out for cheating. That man is expressing pain. You married the same woman twice. That's what happens to these normal women. They think because you sleep with them that they're going to monkey branch over to you. They get pumped and dumped and they're like, oh shit, I'm out in the streets. Well, I know I can go back to him, takes her, marries her again. This is why I preface so much. That your selfish actions have the potential to damage other people. I didn't realize how hard it is for men to get access to their kids. My mom did that to my dad. That's why we went to the custody court so many times. He inherited $10,000. He was out of money with the lawyers. He used that last 10 grand to fight it. We did not spend a lot of time together growing up, but I appreciate that from him. And that's why I paid his house off. He's a good man. He was doing exactly what he saw work. And so he bought into it. He married one for the streets and it wrecked him. It financially fucked him up. It kept him poor. And all she had to do is keep accusing him things like molesting my little sister, like crazy shit. And there's no consequence. So evidently it all stems from childhood trauma, which is sad. If he was to fully commit to one woman, he runs the risk of being betrayed like his father. That's what you risk for intimacy. Dating multiple women is a protective measure. You lose one, oh well, I've got others. I genuinely hope he can heal through that part of his life and find peace.